One of the best ways to get more sales and increase your conversion rate is to become a better communicator. See, communication is one of the highest ROI skills that you can gain in your business. Once you learn how to speak well, you can close more sales, you can make more money, you can impact more lives and do everything that you're currently doing on a much bigger scale, especially if you're in any kind of sales industry, which is why most salespeople engage in some sort of scripts practice or scripts and role plays so that they can become better closers and make more sales. But sometimes you don't have anyone to practice with. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use ChatGPT to make the perfect scripts and role play partner in under 10 minutes. And because I know your time is valuable, I made sure to put timestamps down below. Now, before we get into ChatGPT, for anyone that doesn't know what like scripts and role play is or scripts practicing is, essentially all it is, is that when you hop on a sale, if you're just winging it, the likelihood that you're gonna close that sale is gonna be a lot lower. So a lot of salespeople and sales organizations, what they'll do is they'll create some sort of script that you can memorize to kind of have a basis for the conversation or how the conversation is supposed to go so that it fosters and leads to more sales. Essentially, that's all it is. And now, most great salespeople memorize these scripts and then they build off of them. So they don't use the scripts verbatim, right? But when you're first getting started, memorizing the scripts can help you get the conversations going in the right way so that you can start closing more deals and getting better at these scripts will eventually lead to you getting more confident leads to you closing at a higher percentage and at the end of the day making a whole lot more money so we're going to use chat gpt to help you practice your scripts so you can close at a higher rate and again make more sales so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up chat gpt Alrighty, now that we're in chat gpt the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this prompt that i got right here i'm gonna read it to you guys Alrighty, so here's what it says Act as a sales script and role play partner for insert your industry. Now, this second sentence is optional. I'm going to tell you guys why, but I'm going to read it first. Before we start role playing, I want you to ask me for my favorite sales script slash techniques in sales or psychology books. Now, the reason I have this line in here is for some of you guys who are currently going through sales training or have a certain book. I know for a lot of real estate agents, they, live, uh, they love this book called Exactly What to Say. But let's say you're going through some sort of sales course. You can like input that into chat gpt and then have chat gpt be trained on what you're already currently going through so that there's no like discrepancies or anything like that or let's say there's a certain script that you want to work on right there's certain scripts or like let's say for sale by owners let's say for you know cold calling right? if you have a certain script you can also upload that into chat gpt and that way chat gpt knows exactly what you want to do and say with your scripts and stuff like that and it'll, it'll cater its training its responses its feedback to whatever sales scripts and training you're providing now if you don't have any sales scripts or books or anything like that, that you want to provide then you don't even have to include this sentence so i said the second sentence is optional but i'm gonna keep on reading anyways um simulate real life customer interaction by adjusting responses automatically vary customer responses to reflect different personality types gradually escalate the difficulty level based on the user's progress right provide sales feedback at the end of each session based on the sales scripts and techniques in the book that i uploaded offering suggestions on how to improve now if you didn't upload any books or anything or any trainings right all you have to do is just revise this right please provide sales feedback at the end of each session boom and now at the end do you understand and from there i'm just gonna hit enter actually well i am not uploading anything so for the sake of this video, I'm going to delete this, right? And then I'm going to end, delete this. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now, this is a two-part prompt. So while ChatGPT is responding back, I'm going to grab the other part of this prompt, right? All right, now that ChatGPT is done, I'm going to paste the second part of the prompt. Now, this says, now before each role play session, I want you to ask for three things. The personality type of the customer, the context of the call, how difficult the call should be, Right, and then we hit enter. And then now let's begin with session number one. Now the reason behind this is because sometimes people when they're role playing, they want to get into specifics like, hey, I'm talking to, let's say a lot of people use the disc personality type, or let's say you use another one. Like, hey, I want to talk to a high I, or I'm doing a, a script and role play session with a high D that I got to prepare for. So knowing who the, the, the personality type of the customer will help chat GPT, you know, better take on that role. So this is why I do this, I'm gonna hit enter. And now ChatGPT will ask us for the three key pieces of information, right? The personality type, the context of the call, and the level of difficulty you're looking for. Now, all you have to do from here is literally just answer the question. So I'm gonna just say, hi, 
D high C on the this personality profile. For number two, the context of the call, I'm going to say um, cold call prospecting for potential home sellers in a new neighborhood. Boom. Right. And then level of difficulty, let's say easy. And then I'm going to hit enter. And now just like that, ChatGPT is going to respond, right? They're going to assume the character, assume the role. And then from here, now the role play begins, right? Now, as you can see, ChatGPT says, ring, ring. Hello, this is Alex. Now, if you want to take description role play even further, there's a cool little trick that you can do with ChatGPT that not a lot of people are talking about. So instead of typing back and forth on your computer to overcome objections with ChatGPT and role playing here on a computer, it's kind of awkward. You're usually not role playing via typing or via you know texting. So what you can do is you can download the ChatGPT mobile app and actually speak to ChatGPT and role play that way. So all you're going to do is go to openai.com and then from there you can find the ChatGPT app on the Google Play Store and the Apple Store so you can download the official ChatGPT app. Once you download the app, you log in using the same account that you're using on your computer. And so they have a new voice mode called advanced voice mode. And in this setting, you can speak to ChatGPT and it'll respond back to you in real time. Now, if you're on a free plan, it is limited to how long you can use it. But if you're on a paid plan, you can pretty much speak to ChatGPT and it'll respond back in real time as if you were talking to a real person, which is actually pretty scary now that you think of it. But even if you're on the free plan and don't have any intention of upgrading, uh, ChatGPT already has a voice mode. It's been out for months now, so you can speak to ChatGPT. There will be like a couple second delay, but honestly, it's not going to make or break your role play session. If anything, it actually gives you some time to think of responses in between your objections. So you can go on, as I said, go on the ChatGPT mobile app, right? And then you can activate voice mode, either the basic voice mode or the advanced voice mode, depending on what plan you have. And then you can start scripts and role playing with ChatGPT and speak to it instead of having to go back and forth via computer. All right, for those of you guys that don't know what the ChatGPT mobile app looks like, it looks a little something like this, if you can see it. Boom. And once you open up this app, and you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, right here, this is bottom right, that little white button right there. That is how you activate voice mode. So if you click on that, right, and you'll see the screen pop up. And that's how you know that ChatGPT's voice mode is activated. So that's all for this video. Again, if you found it valuable, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be dropping weekly AI and marketing tips to help you grow your business, help you boost your online presence, and get in front of more people. Because the more people you're in front of, the more people you could potentially help. And eventually, the more impact you have and the more income you have as well. So that's all for this video. And if you want a quick walkthrough on how to actually set up your ChatGPT account if you're brand new to AI, click on this video right here.